Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at a 5x8 single axle trailer. This is one of our ready-made trailers that we'll have in our showroom here. Um, so it's equipped with a 5.5 gallon a minute cold water washer and a 12 volt soft wash system. Up front we've got two of the hand crank Cox reels. This top one has 100 foot of the pressure washer hose and at the bottom we've got 100 feet of the 3 quarter inch uh, incoming hose. The tanks that we have next to it, we've got a 50 gallon bleach tank and then we've got a 100 gallon water tank. So this is a, a plenty big enough tank for you to do batch mixing through your soft wash system. Um, and then of course enough water flow to be able to run your soft wash system and your pressure washer at the same time if you wanted to. We've got a one inch drain off to the side here. Uh, we have this on a hose, just prevents any PVC from cracking when it's some of the smaller drain hoses that we've used in the past. And then you'll just drop this down and drain it however you need to. And then we've got a little locking mechanism on the other side of the rail to keep it in place. Moving down to the soft wash system, we've got 200 feet of the half inch hose. And this is on a Titan hose reel. Inside the box, we've got the soft wash system. If you've seen our other video for our 12 volt soft wash box, you'll kind of see how this is all set up. But we've got an aluminum diamond plate box here with our group 24, or it's a deep cycle battery that we run these off of. Our battery charger, the pump, uh, the accumulator, everything is already installed inside here. And then you can power everything from the, uh, from the outside of the box. So you technically don't even have to have this open whenever it's in use. We got vents on both sides of the box so it stays nice and cool and ventilated. And then, kind of already walked past this here, but we have the, uh, the charger port on the outside of the box. You just open this up, plug in your 110 volt cord, let it charge. It takes a couple hours to get it charged up, maybe a little bit more if the battery's really low. Your on off switch is right here, flip it up to turn it on, down to turn it off. We've got charge meters on these so that you can tell uh, where your battery is at so you know if you have enough power to be able to get through the job that you need to um, or if your battery's all the way charged if you forgot to you know plug it in you'll know exactly where you're at uh, throughout the day moving around back we have a little spot here uh, that gives you plenty of room for a surface cleaner if you wanted to add a surface cleaner to the package we got the other side of the 100 gallon water tank these two fittings here this is your incoming water line so whenever you connect your uh, garden hose to the spigot at the customer's facility or at your house. Uh, you'll be able to uh, just put the water right into the water tank. Underneath this fitting there's a float valve and that will shut your water off once it gets up to that valve so it doesn't overflow in your tank. And then once you start depleting some of the water out of the tank it'll start filling again. This here is your bypass hose. So when you're using your pressure washer as soon as you let off that trigger it's going to bypass all the extra water to your tank. So it keeps it the pump nice and cool, recirculates your water, easy to use, and you don't have to run back and forth to your pressure washer to shut it off so that the pump doesn't overheat. As long as you've got water in here, you can let the, uh, let the pressure washer run infinitely in bypass mode. The pressure washer, we've got the Honda GX6, I'm sorry, GX6, <laughs> twice now. We have the Honda GX390 engine. It's a pull start with the, uh, with the Comet RW series five and a half gallon pump. So this is a nice heavy duty pressure washer that we have here. It's on an aluminum base, so it's corrosion resistant. Uh, we've got plenty of filters on here. We got a filter um, on the end of the dipstick for the soft wash system. We have a big T strainer filter that goes to the pressure washer. And we've got another filter to prevent any, uh, anything from going into your tank on the, uh, on the incoming line between the hose reel and your tank. So, Lots of ways to keep your pump and your equipment protected uh, from anything that comes out of those, uh, those spigots that you hook up to. So um, if you guys have any questions on this system, please give us a call. Otherwise, you can check out our website. You can see the listing. You can stop by our facility and take a look at it. Um, this is one of the few ready-made trailers that we have, so they do tend to go pretty quickly, but uh, just give us a call if you need anything. Thanks.